Welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll like and subscribe. If you like this kind of content, uh, I do uh, handbags, I do perfumes, I do vlogs, I travel. Uh, I cover a little bit of everything. So if you're interested in that, then, then like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm uh, and it helps YouTube push my videos out a little bit more. So anyway, I'm excited about this video today because I was invited to do a collaboration with three wonderful ladies. This was created by AKB Bags, Andrea. Here's a little picture of her somewhere up here. And she invited uh, Ivana, somewhere down here, from My Pursuit of Happiness, and Suz Watt. Also a amazing girl. All three of these ladies are fantastic. Uh, Ivana and Suz, I have known for many, many years, probably the last eight years at least. And uh, Andrea is an absolute gem who is a new addition to my duty addict uh, of watching and she's very knowledgeable. Uh, I hope you will go and watch these amazing ladies, watch the videos. They have way more knowledge than I ever had. Um, I'm fairly new to the Juni and, you know, maybe eight years uh, since I started my collection. And, you know, this video is really interesting. Um, it's, a, it's a great learning curve for anyone out there who wants to start a collection of handbags. I mean, it doesn't have to be Dooney, but because I'm, you know, a Dooney girl and these other three beautiful ladies are also Dooney girls, we decided, or Andrea decided to come up with this idea and say, hey, you know what? If you were starting a collection or recommending someone to start a collection, how would you go about it? Would you do it differently? Would you still do it the same way as you did back then? And I can say probably I would change a few things, tweak a few things here and there, but overall you can't go wrong with a good Dooney. So let's get started. The lovely thing about Andrea's um, idea of doing this video was she said, just here's the name of it starting a new collection or starting over or you know whatever way you want to name it you go ahead you create it in the way you feel is right for you and i love that i love to do my own creativity I say to nora all the time um that um she beats to her own drum and i've been told <laughs> that apparently I beat to my own drum as well. So the apple does not fall far from the tree. And uh, let's start with, I'm putting a different little spin on mine, like, duh, of course I am. And I'm starting with, if I were to recommend to anyone how to start out their collection, whether they be young or old or somewhere in between, I recommend a Dooney letter carrier. And I purchased this secondhand on eBay several years ago before Nora was born. It is what we call bubble gum. I have no idea how old this bag is. I will tell you what dates it, and it's the leather uh, key carrier on the inside. This is Nora's bag, by the way, I handed it down to her. And that's what dates it uh, pre the nylon one. Where is it? Let's see if I can pull it out. Um, okay, she's got something attached to the key, the key, cha the key chain. Oh, okay, that's why it wouldn't come out. This is the leather key fob, chain, whatever you want to call it. And she has her sanitizer from Bath & Body hooked onto it. So, so as I say, about several years ago, I picked this up. I think I picked it up for $30 or $40 on eBay. It's in mint condition, by the way. Absolutely no wear or tear on it. It's a three-part strap, so there's another part to it. 
Nora is five, Nora's my granddaughter, and if I can find a picture of her wearing this handbag, I will put it up here somewhere in this corner. So yeah, I took the center part out and um, she can wear it over her shoulder. It's also got a nice little padded piece here that slips in. You can take it out if you want to, but obviously I left it in. It is not a detachable um, strap. Actually, it is detachable in a way that you can open this up and, and open it and take the strap out. So you could, in fact, change this strap if you wanted to. So anyway, that's my first choice. And, you know, a Dooney collection is all relative to the person who is collecting. If you're young, if you're five years old, this is what I would recommend. You start your daughter off, your granddaughter or whatever. This is a good little bag. It's got a great little opening. She's got all her stuff in there. She, this is her pride and joy. Then she has this front little zipper here that she has another dangly uh, key charm on and that can hold, um, what does it hold? It has lip balm and a makeup brush in it. And she just loves this and will play with this bag for hours on end in her bedroom. So that's my first choice of starting off your collection. And you know, you could use this. I could still use this. This is great for a concert. It's great for going out for lunch. It's just a great overall easy crossbody shoulder bag for your very first Dooney bag. So next I'm going to go into a Florentine because I think everyone should have a Florentine and my, I don't have a lot of Florentines, but this is the choice. And this is actually the choice I think most of us ladies have made because it's such a staple in the Dooney world. And it is the Dooney Florentine Satchel. And this one is in the color Ocean. This is a pre-loved bag. It is in beautiful condition. It does have a little wear on here that just gives it a little bit of character. Uh, I'm going to try and repair that. Andrea, help me. <laughs> Um, a leather dye that I could possibly maybe just dab that on with a little tiny brush. But anyway, yeah, I think a Dooney satchel in Florentine is a must for everyone's collection. It is a little bit heavy. This is the formerly known as small, which is now just the satchel. Um, and you know, if you find that the Florentine is a little bit too heavy, you can go for the pebble grain. You could also go for, um, uh, a, you know, like a, like a different leather or maybe a, one of the printed ones. They're a lot lighter than this. It does come with a crossbody strap, which I rarely ever use. I like to carry it on the crook of my arm, uh, and it's plenty big for that. So that would be my second choice camera bag in pebble grain leather. I've had this for a few months now. And by the way, I put the chain on it. The chain doesn't come with it. The chain will make it look a little bit smarter and a little bit more, um, you know, for evening wear, but it comes with beautiful zip. Look at that. It comes with the shoulder or crossbody strap also. The only thing is this uh, front pouch doesn't fit my phone. I have a, as you can see, it's a tight, it's too tight, but it fits in here very comfortably with all your other stuff. A wallet will fit in here, your makeup, you know, anything you need, your sunglasses, whatever you need, it will fit in here. And it's just a great, uh, it's a staple in my opinion. These, this is all, this is all in my opinion. And this is just a fun video. So that's number three. Now, if you're thinking, you know what, I need accessories. What accessories would I choose if I were starting a collection? 
And this is something that I have thought a lot about. And these are the ones that I've come up with that I think are a must have. need a really good sized wallet, not too big, not too small. My preference is zip around. Some people like the ones that clip over. This is my preference. It has a little zip at the back for coins and it opens up like that for your credit cards and you know, your paper money can go in here. So there's also a pouch at the front, which I put like Tim Horton cards, Starbucks cards and that sort of thing. This is, in my opinion, an essential. Try and find a color if you don't want to buy one to match every purse, which I don't. I'm not an accessory girl. I prefer to put my money into handbags. So I would invest in something neutral like the color Elephant, which is this one. And then get yourself a little coin purse to go with it. Um, and these are absolutely a must, in my opinion. The third thing in an accessory that I absolutely have to have is a makeup pouch. This is great. This is fairly neutral. It goes with all my plain handbags. Like, I can put that in here. It looks fine. It would look fine in here. It'll go with anything. And it's a great makeup pouch. And it holds all my needs. I also have one to match that. So I have the two. So I don't have a lot of pouches, but these are the essential ones that I think you should have if you're starting a collection. So that's accessories out of the way. Now, this is something I'm not sure if the other girls will talk about or not, but I just discovered lately that I think everyone needs a backpack. If you travel, if you go to school, if you go out a lot, if you socialize, if you just wanna go on a, on a hike or anything like that, I say get yourself a good backpack. This one is fabulous, it's in the color elephant. You know guys, elephant is my favorite color in Dooney. I think they do it really well and I think it's a great neutral. This one comes with the canvas straps. It's very sturdy, it's very comfortable. It has the front pocket, which is where I put my passport when I travel. If you feel that you're not secure enough going through an airport, put it on like this and carry it, let the strap down and carry it in front of you, you know, so you can see it if you don't want to put it on your back. That's always an option. This one has a snap closure and it opens up like this into a big, big bucket. It has a zip at the back, it has a slip pocket, and then it has two more pockets right here and right here. Just a great, great, great bag that I feel is an essential part of my Dooney collection. Ta-da! <laughs> the Zip Zip Satchel in black. I bought it in black because I knew I would get a lot of wear out of this. Everybody should have one in black. It's essential to have a black purse, but black is great any time of year, but especially in the winter. This is the black on black zip zip Dooney and Burke. I love this bag comes with a crop with a shoulder strap which I don't wear because I don't like that you have to hook it onto the handle here and then here and then it kind of looks kind of like a wobbly looking right so it zips from the center down like that or you can zip it all the way down and have it like that great bag great zip Sturdy, love that the handles fold down. That's important to me. I don't like handles that stick up stiff. And then inside it's that beautiful red lining with a zip trimmed in leather, a zip pocket, pouch here. And then on the other side, it has two more pouches. Just a great, has a key keeper. 
Here's the strap. The strap is quite short, so it only goes over the shoulder. Um, but yeah, I think everyone needs a black handbag. And my choice is the Zip Zip in black, black. Well, guys, it wouldn't be a Dooney collection if I personally didn't choose a printed cotton. This was a fairly new one that came out a little while ago with the bigger print. I also have the Greta. So if you prefer the smaller print, I just chose this one because I like, I like this big uh, opening here. And I also love this strap. It's beautiful. It's detachable on both sides. I love the Dooney charm that comes with it. And I offset mine so it doesn't, doesn't jingle. But if you like it to jingle like that, then put them both together. But it gets a little annoying after a while. I love this one. Um, it was a gift again, Sue. <laughs> uh, love that it has feet on the bottom. It's just a great bag. I can throw this around and be rough with it. It's just gorgeous. It also has a little bit of kind of suede around the edges here, which I love for the grommets to go into. And then it's this, the inside is the canvas, which is what the bag is made of. And then it's coated with plastic and printed on. So inside you have a big pouch here. It's got the leather logo. And then on the other side, two big, huge pockets here as well. This strap is super comfortable. I like to leave mine, um, I like to leave mine open like that. And then I will wear it like this. It fits comfy. It's just a great bag. I wear this a ton and I think that everyone should have some kind of printed neutral bag in their collection. Um, it's just a must, in my opinion. And last but not least, the logo lock. I mean, this is a classic Dooney. I love the logo lock. I love the detail in this bag. I love these leather, this leather strap. It has softened up a lot over the years that I've had it. It scratches up easily, so I'm not sure if it's Florentine or what, but it will just rubs right out if you get a scratch on it. It has feet on the bottom. It is in the color a dove gray, I think. It's in a Wexford leather, which is a very soft, soft, smooshy bag. I have it stuffed with paper, but if it's not stuffed, it just puddles. And I love that about it. It's not heavy. This part here might be a little bit heavy, but the rest of the bag is not heavy. Um, it's easy to get in and out of. It folds over nicely. It locks into place super easy and you can change it from the um, Dooney and Burke to the Duck logo if you want to. So either side. It's got a couple of pockets here. It's got uh, a zip pocket here and then another one. And it's got that classic red lining, which, which we all love and absolutely adore. So that is my last but not least bag that I would recommend to anyone starting out. All these different leathers, pebble leather, Wexford leather, Florentine leather, I don't think there's another company, this is just my opinion, so don't come for me. <laughs> I don't think there's another company in the world that make better handbags out of more luxurious leather than Dooney and & Burke. And I'm not getting paid by Dooney & Burke to uh, advertise or talk about any of these bags. 
This is uh, an American company that we cannot find here in Canada unless occasionally they slip into Winners or Marshalls up here in Ontario. I'm sure if you go into the city, I occasionally see one person out of maybe one person out of a hundred thousand people I will see wearing a Dooney up here in Canada. So I feel like I am unique and and it's just different. I can go out and people will say to me, that's a nice bag. I've never heard of that company. And yet you go down to the United States and everybody and their mother and their grandmother knows about Dooney and Burke. And my granddaughter now, who is five years old, my little Canadian granddaughter is five years old and she goes, look at my Dooney. I have introduced Dooney into my small community here in Ontario, Canada. So yes, Dooney and Burke, you can pay me if you want to or send me a free handbag. I'm not too picky. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this because it's all perspective on, um, yeah, you know, like your lifestyle, what you like, colors that you like, but these are just staples, black, neutral, uh, different types of leather, different types of prints. It's just nice to have that variety so that you can say, okay, I'm gonna grab this today because I'm going out for lunch with my girlfriends or I'm taking this on a hike. <laughs> so guys, thanks again for watching. Thank you girls, I love you all to bits. Thank you for coming up with this, Andrea, and creating this great video. Thank you, Ivana and Suze for us all collaborating together and working so well together. This was a great pleasure to me. I love you all. I love all of you people who watch me and I will see you all on my next video. And as I always say, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Bye.